This presentation is going to be about aesthetic dentistry in today's age. When I was in dental school, aesthetic dentistry was literally making the decision of a white filling versus a silver filling and trying to make teeth look like their natural state. But look at these beautiful smiles as opposed to this smile. How do we get from the top teeth to the bottom teeth? And that is a journey which I like to refer to as comprehensive aesthetic reconstructive dentistry. When we're doing comprehensive dentistry, we look at this whole mouth. Here we have a bunch of failing crowns, bridges, and fillings. And for this gentleman, we were able to re-restore his mouth, save his dentition without him having to have a partial. And that was very important to him. What about this? This is decay on a young teenager that had been involved with drugs, drinking too much soda, and so forth. Once I got her on track, got her cleaned up, and everything was committed to the process, we started the journey of trying to re-restore her smile and build confidence. As you can see, this was a very comprehensive case requiring a lot of treatment, including root canals, posts, buildups, crowns, and so forth. This case was done about 14 years ago, so we used porcelain fused and metal crowns, and even then they looked absolutely beautiful. Today we use all porcelain crowns and don't have any metal substructure underneath it. But I think her case came out fantastic. She was really happy. This case shows lip incompetency. It's unable to get over the excessive bone on her upper arch. To fix her teeth, we actually had to send her to a periodontist to remove some gum and bone tissue so that when I made my temporaries that you can see here, there was a nice soft transition from the gums to the teeth, which allowed the lips to cover her smile better, as you can see in this picture. She had a little bit of a slight lip augmentation done, and the harmony with the veneers looks really good. This patient here shows what can happen when you have proportional and non-proportional teeth. So on the top teeth, they were not proportional. On the bottom, this is the after, showing harmony. And once again, he will see that shape before we started. As with this lady here, hers was more of a color issue. The color of her teeth were really dark yellow and gray. I also know that her upper lip was a little bit thin. So we started off with what color are her teeth? What color do we want to go to? And the final result had just a beautiful shade. As you can see, these are her crowns on a lab mount. And then once they're in their mouth, they have this nice harmonious color that fits her age, it fits her face and her skin, and it just came out to be a wonderful smile. And with a little help from an oral surgeon, we worked on her upper lip as well to give her just a little bit more of a smile. I think the cakes came out fantastic. Here's that case you saw earlier. So when he came in, you see the picture on the upper left. The final result is on the upper right. How do you get there? How does a patient build confidence knowing what I'm going to do to get to that point? Because they can't see like I can see the future. Well, if you look at the, the picture progression on the bottom, you can see the before, then the middle is his model of his teeth, and then we have the wax up which that is my stent that I use for the temporaries as well as the final product for the laboratory. And if you look at the bottom picture and that top right one, they're the same. This is an also aesthetic dentistry, but it's also reconstructive. You got a little bit of root recession, some root abrasion, maybe some clenching and grinding creating these divots. So we just restore it back with a tooth colored filling. All that is is a filling material. This young lady had both of her lateral incisors missing. You can kind of see them on the left and right. But she also has some crowding, some crooked teeth. When we did the two new bridges, we did them with all porcelain. This is my first all porcelain bridge case back about 14 years ago. It came out really nice and she was really happy. And then of course we're talking about, well, soft tissue is part of the mouth. It's what frames the mouth. So as beautiful your teeth are, if you don't have nice lips to go with it, and all the training I'm doing now to reconstruct lips and give them these nice cupid bows, it's really paying off dividends. It makes girls have just an incredible balance and happiness with their full smile, including their lips. Here you can see the nice white cupid's bow on top reflecting the light from the new border. This is called internal bleaching. She was told that that tooth could not be fixed. I said, no, absolutely I can fix it. So we did that through bleaching the inside and she's able to keep her natural tooth. This is just simply taking an old filling and turning it into a beautiful new crown with more harmony. She liked that space in the middle so we kept it, but you can see how great the tooth matches with her adjacent tooth. Sometimes we get teeth that look like this. You've got old fillings, you've got, they're breaking down, you've got cross bites, a roller coaster bite. There's a lot going on here, hygiene issues. So when we get these kind of cases, 
we have to do stuff like this. This is a different patient, but we're starting to measure where is the midline? Where can I correct this? And by talking to the lab, we're able to make someone have a mouth that looks like this, have more balance, and look like this. As you can see, he's got a very narrow arch. On the upper left, there's a little bit of a vacancy there. We haven't finished that upper left, but this shows that bridge and crowns that we just put in to give him that nice smile he wanted. Here's another tooth that's missing congenitally, which means that she was born without it. And when we put the bridge in there in combination with the other three crowns, you can see that she actually developed a nice harmonious smile without that spacing issue that she had before. She was in braces for years trying to get that all corrected. We finally finished it off with some nice crowns. Her beautiful lips make it look even that much better. Here's the case you saw earlier. Look at the disharmony. How do we find balance? Where do we change this? Do we bring teeth forward? Do we bring teeth over? And that's where the wax up comes in. The patient saw what his teeth would look like before I started, and that's the confidence I can give the patients and the predictability I can provide as a provider. This is a cool case because we didn't do any crowns or bridges. We just did fillings over these teeth to give a little bit more length and a little bit more proportion to his smile. This was all done in one appointment. And then you have a case like this. My friend's mom broke her tooth <coughs> over the holidays. And I, when she came in, I realized there was more than just one issue going on here. So we had to extract the four anterior teeth because they were not restorable. And I built a bridge. And by giving her the bridge with the lip draped over it, she finally had the confidence to smile and have a nice smile for the first time in her life. What a sweet lady. This is such a cool case. And then we're talking about soft tissue. You can see the lip on the upper right, how flat it is with the skin. And then as I inject and put threads and a little bit of injectables in there, both these cases, you can see how the lips on the right on the bottom pop versus the ones on the top right. Gives them a little bit more volume, and a little bit more projection. This guy came in on that front tooth with a black spot and it turned out that he needed about six teeth filled. So this case turned into an extraction, same day bridge, he never went without a tooth, and in the end, we were able to restore his teeth. This is another case. Look at the decay in that canine. He had teeth in his palate, so I was able to find harmony and balance by doing two bridges for him. His tissue is a little swollen there because we just delivered it the same day, but when you put the lips over, you can see the balance that we were able to provide. This is another case. That tooth that was stuck behind, we extracted it, because it was not functional. There was decay in a whole bunch of other teeth. And so she had to have pretty much most of her upper teeth crowned. And once again, it's finding that harmony and that balance and what color works best for her. Look at this. Where do we begin for that? For him, we just wanted to preserve him so he didn't lose any more teeth because he'd already lost posterior teeth. So we found balance. I protected those, that bite by bringing it back over his teeth and gave him some symmetry. And then we finished up with partials on the top and the bottom. This is a really hard case. It looks easy, it's just one tooth. But the tooth next to it has all sorts of white texturing. So we had to look at the shade. I drew a picture showing all the modeling on the left as well as a pictures to send to the lab. And here's the final result. It's a mirror image of the tooth on the, the side of it. Once again, matching one tooth is very difficult. This little three-year-old had an accident. His mom asked me if I'd take care of it, so we put a couple stitches in. He was an amazing patient. A week later, I took out the stitches. And a month later, it's almost like it never happened. This person kind of chipped their teeth in the front. So once again, I just did fillings over them and created composite crowns. That's a same day appointment. That's why the gums are a little bit red. And once again, this is just fillings that I made into teeth. This guy had a gap between his front teeth and old crowns and when we restored him we brought him to harmony and he wanted to get that area closed. I also fixed his bottom teeth that the teeth kind of fit into so I rebuilt up his smile so that his bottom teeth and his top teeth would stop wearing each other out. We finished up with a night guard. This is that case I showed earlier. This is that area where it's like gosh what's the front tooth? Look how high those bottom teeth rise. You can see how I flattened those bottom teeth out, found the midline, I then created my ideal shape that I want for the teeth, and that's called a wax up. 
From there, I make a stent that I can make temporaries in. These are his temporaries in his mouth, showing him, before we make the crowns, what everything will look like. We let things heal for a little while. Now you can see his tissue looks a little bit healthier. And now he's ready for his final crowns. We have to take a beautiful impression. Incredible model work by the lab. There's all his crowns. And now we get to finally see what they look like in his mouth. This is one of my all-time favorite cases. From where he was to where he is now, what a change. This patient just had a little, a little lack of symmetry in his front teeth. And there was some decay. Got his gums in order. You can see how nice his gums adapt to those crowns. Harmony, beautiful aesthetics. This person didn't have any K, just had a really bad gap. So I'm like, hmm. So I just added a filling to it to close that and make it have a better proportion. So that's a that's a that's like a 30-minute appointment, just a filling over the tooth. This is a friend of mine, just had some um, decay as well as some improperly formed enamel that created scarring across the enamel with white and yellow marks. We did a whole bunch of crowns on him to fix all those seats with the K in him. This is the same day we delivered the crowns, and he's got a little bit of a lower smile, but you can see how, how beautiful that smile came out. Sometimes people just come in with a broken tooth. I need to make sure you get home, and you don't look like that when you leave. So we'll do emergency treatment. Here's another case. People come in after accidents. They have to get fixed immediately, and we'll move patients to make sure that we get these taken care of. Other things like this, that's long time standing decay. That's a comprehensive treatment plan. We need to really sit down and see how we're going to fix it. Quite like this case here. Look at those crowns with all the recession that's happened thereafter. And of course, some people come in, and I can't do anything because their gums are so swollen. So we'll do a deep cleaning, get their gums back on track, and you can see that all the inflammation is starting to finally resolve. And this is, a, this is a classic, I dove in a pool and hit the ground be, without my hands hitting the ground. So, this is how I do it. I add filling material. I shape what I like on the first tooth. I match the second tooth to it. I leave them a little bit long, as you can see in this picture. And then between the patient and I, we cut them back just so they're a perfect shape for the final result. very important to be able to match shade and color to make sure that everything balances. I look inside the mouth before we seat it to make sure it'll match with the adjacent tooth. And this is an incredible case. This is actually one of my relatives. Sitting across from me at dinner, I realized he had no front tooth. So he came in, we looked at it, took an x-ray, realized I could still save it with a little bit of heroics, but we did it. I did a root canal. I drove a titanium post up inside of his tooth, used that as a foundation to build the future core. There's the root canal. And that's my temporary crown. And you can see also chipped the adjacent tooth. We haven't done the crown yet, but that was a great one-day fix to get him back on his feet. This is one of my favorite things. You have decay in several teeth, plus an abscess which will require extraction. Do you do whitening? It sounds funny, but I've seen this stuff happen in my office all the time. People want aesthetic dentistry, but we do need to make sure the foundation is done beforehand. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you have a great day.